Welcome to the Roller Coaster Mesh Editor. It's a package for Unity 3D in which you will be able to create simple meshes that are deformed by a Bezier curve, as we're going to see in a few seconds. The first thing you have to notice is that we have a Bezier curve script which has the Bezier manager name on it. You will be able to add different points, as you can see here, and delete them. This instantiate three fragments. A fragment is composed, as you can see here, by a starting point, a Bezier point, an end point, and another Bezier point. If we want to modify the characteristics of the Bezier curve, you can go ahead and change the different parameters, as you can see. Let's change this one too in order to make it smooth. And finally, let's change this one too in order to make it correspond with the other one. So we can see that now we have a sinusoid wave that is formed by three fragments, which are three Bezier curves. Now we have to add a mesh to it. So in order to do that, you can go to the models, to rail, that is going to be uh, this model here. Okay. And when you hit apply mesh, you will see how the mesh is going to be modified by the shape of the Bezier curve. Finally, if you go to roller coaster, you will see the different rails that have been created. These are the meshes that are in the scene. And this will be the only thing that appears on the play mode, as you can see here. Finally, if you go to the roller coaster script, you will see the coaster follower. The coaster follower needs a seat object that will be this cube here that is called seat. Can move parameter which will allow the uh, object to move along the, the trajectory and then you can check the rotations and positions of each step. If you hit play you will see how the cube moves accordingly. In a very smooth way. Let's explain some aspects of modeling. You can notice that we have two control points, which will be the ones that determine where the basic curve is going to start or finish. Then you have two Bezier points, which are going to change the inclination of the curve and is going to make it smooth. Finally, you have also inside the Bezier point rotations. The rotations will be around the local Z axis. To see the results, let's add a mesh to the actual curve. Then go to the rotation and increase the angle. You will see how we can obtain a different mesh in which we have a angle rotation according to the Z axis. Like this you can obtain a completely new solution for your mesh deformation. If you hit play, the result will be the following. As you can see, the box is going to follow the mean of the spline, which is the black line, but at the same time is going to rotate with the game object mesh. 